Hey guys, Alton here. First off, I want to say thanks for checking out my YouTube channel. Now, in today's video, we're going to go ahead and take a look at one of my selected lectures from my eight hour introduction to Windows Server 2016 for beginners course. So let's go ahead and let's get into it. In this video, we're going to go through the exact same process as we did in the last video, but we're going to do it with our Windows Server machine. So go ahead and open a VirtualBox. Once it's open, go ahead and select your Windows Server, go into Settings, and we're going to go down to Storage, just like we did for Windows 10. We're going to click on our empty virtual CD drive, and we're going to go ahead and mount our Windows Server ISO file. So click this say choose the virtual optical disk file and then choose your windows server iso now you're probably noticing that the file names are different than the ones that you downloaded what i did is i just went ahead and renamed them to shorter files um, i just wanted it to be a shorter file length than the one that's provided when you download them so anyways select that say open and now it's mounted say ok and let's go ahead and start up our Windows Server virtual machine and let's go through this installation process. So for the most part, it's going to be very similar. There are going to be some slight differences with the install process, but in terms of installing Windows operating systems, for the most part, they're fairly the same overall. So we're going to choose next. We're going to say install and we'll go ahead and let us take us to that initial page just like it did for Windows 10. Um, and just like we did for the Windows 10, we're not going to be upgrading, we're going to be installing. So the first page on this one, slight difference. So what you're going to notice, and let me go ahead and slide this over, is that we have Windows Server 2016 Standard Edition, we have the Standard Edition with the Desktop Experience, we have Data Center Edition, Data Center Edition with the Desktop Experience. So we want to choose a desktop experience because that gives us the full-fledged GUI interface that we're used to. If we don't, if we choose without the desktop experience, it's going to be a lot of command line interface. And for beginners, that's really not where you want to start. You want to start with a desktop experience. In terms of standard edition and data center edition, they, they have the same functionality, but in terms of licensing and capabilities, a data center, of course, is going to have a lot more. And we're not going to get into all that in this course, so Standard Edition is perfectly fine. So make sure you choose Standard Edition Desktop Experience, choose Next, accept the licensing terms, choose Next, and then of course we're going to do Custom, Install, and then for the hard drive, choose Next. And just like we did with Windows 10, go ahead and let it get the files ready, install the features, install the updates and finishing the update and reboot. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and I'll be back when we can get ready for the reboot. All right, so we're almost ready for the reboot with Windows Server 2016. So while this is going and it's gonna get ready in a second to prompt us for a reboot, uh, with Windows Server 2016 in regards to the user input and everything it asks us for compared to Windows 10, Go ahead and just click it and tell it to restart now. Uh, in regards to the user input, it's a lot less in terms of what it's going to ask for. So just go ahead and let it continue through the setup process. And then eventually what's going to happen is it's going to take us to a page where it's going to ask us for our administrator for the built-in administrator account for our password. And that's essentially all it's going to ask us for. So none of that stuff with, with Cortana and all those other extra settings like it was with Windows 10. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, just let it run, and then once it gets to the point where it's going to ask us for our built-in administrator password, I'll go ahead and I'll resume the video. All right, so it went through one more reboot, and then after that second reboot, took us into here and it's going to ask us for our administrative password. Make sure that you input a strong password, multiple characters, uppercase, lowercase, special character, numbers, letters, all that good stuff that you would put in a strong password. Otherwise, it's going to reject it. So type that in, 
select finish, let it finalize the settings, and now it's gonna take us to our login page. Let me go ahead and make this a little smaller so it's easier to see. Let's go ahead and minimize this. So we're gonna go to input, keyboard, and insert, control, alt, delete. That's going to allow us to get us to our password prompt where it asks us for a password, go ahead and input that. And it's going to go ahead and log us in for the first time. Once the login is complete, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna install guest editions. So we're gonna go ahead and do devices, insert guest editions CD image. And let's go ahead and make this full screen now. So we're gonna say yes for here for the network and server manager is going to load so server manager by default loads every time with windows server 2016 it's going to take a little bit of time to let it load it's going to load all the services and everything and take an inventory of whatnot so i'm going to pause the video for the sake of time and then once server manager is loaded up all the way we'll go ahead into file explorer and we'll install guest box editions all right, so everything is up and loaded now. Server Manager is, is finally completely loaded. We don't need Server Manager, um, so we can go ahead and close it. We can click the X right here to close out of Server Manager. We're going to go into File Explorer, open that up, and we're going to expand out this PC, and we'll just click here, and then we're going to double-click on the Guest Editions, and then open up Guest Editions, and let it install just like we did with Windows 10. So next, next, install, say install when it gives us our pop-up window for our device. So we're gonna say install for this device software, let it continue. The screen will probably go black for one second on the Windows server as it installs and then finalize it, reboot. And then when we reboot, we're gonna go ahead and go back in and log in to our Windows server, and then we'll take our initial snapshot, just like we did with our Windows 10 machine. So we'll go ahead and reboot this machine, and let it reboot. I'm gonna go ahead and let it reboot. I'll pause the video, and then when we get back to the login screen, we'll go ahead and resume. All right, so we are back, booted up. Let me go ahead and make this smaller, and we'll go to Input, Keyboard, Insert, Control, Alt, Delete and type in our password that we created for our built-in admin account and then let it load all the way. It's gonna load up server manager and everything else and then eventually this will resize to the correct size of the screen. So once this is all loaded up, we wanna go ahead and we wanna take a snapshot and there we go. We notice it resized okay and if we resize it, the windows resize perfectly fine. So we're gonna to go to machine take a snapshot for initial snapshot and then we'll do the exact same thing clean install with vbox editions say okay let it take the snapshot and then we're all done so in a bit of a summary we installed windows server 2016 we installed the guest additions and we took our initial snapshot and so now we have our windows 10 machine up and running and our windows server machine up and running with our operating systems installed so if you have any questions about what we did in this video please let me know if not thanks for watching and i'll see you at the next video take care well, I hope that you enjoyed today's video and you learned a lot from it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Now, if you're interested in taking this full course or just learning more about it, check out the video description down below because I've included a link where you can learn more about the course and enroll into it if you'd like. So again, thanks for watching my video. I appreciate it and I look forward to seeing you guys at the next video. Take care.